Hi, my name is Jester Romita Nite, a BSIT student. My topic in this video is the inventions in technology in all fields of society from year 2015 to 2020. But before that, we define first what is technology. Technology is the application of scientific knowledge for practical purposes, especially in the industry. The first invention is the overboard scooter. Man's hopes on this device uses in a pair of electric gyroscope to balance automatically allowing users to speed forward, backward, and around by slightly shifting their body weight. Second is the underground park. An abandoned trolley terminal in New York City Lower East Side that Pekin architect James Ramsey are trying to turn into an anchor of lush green space replant with flowering plants and areas to relax in the sun. Third is the sensor that snips out bluting. The NEMA sensor switch is start shifting early next year before what was put in their minds and sensed by the following them to test any kind of food or drink in a little as two minutes. Hanep, ang galing naman diba? Fourth is the bionic ears. Here's Professor Six with a smartphone app, so users can handpick which is frequencies they want to filter. That means you can just stand on a subway platform and have a normal conversation as a certain speeches by, or even tone cut out at a crying baby on a plane. Fifth is the, the superior stethoscope. If there is one aspect of medicine that is more than science, it's the way doctors listen to heartbeats, trusting the really well ears and memory to detect ambulation over time. The headset that helps you hack life. Imagine gamers defending their homes from robot and renders engineers manipulating 3D models of surgeons following directions on the human body. Early test indicates all possible already the not Already, the HoloLens is being used by the NASA to mimic Mars terrain in labs and by medical students to dissect virtual bodies. The Desktop DNA Lab A shape that makes it easier to match bone marrow donors find cures for genetic disease and more. The key is the Fluidimine Prospiratory Microchip which is can amplify samples that are 1000 times smaller than a drop of water. The virtual brush and canvas. The pencil allows you user to draw paint or write on a screen just as they would a sheet of paper. It is work in tandem with an iPad Pro, a tablet faster than roughly 80% of laptops sold in the past years. So there is no perceptible delay. The combination has already sparked chatter about new ways to create art animations, blueprints, and more. An airdrop for drones, designed to make it easier to transport food, medical supplies, electronic spheres, parts, and other goods through the hilly countryside, where the drone travel is difficult. The Personal Pollution Detector The stationary device developed by electrician Kevin R. Hart uses sensors to evaluate the atmosphere in the any given area, measuring factors like temperature, particulate matter, dust, pollution, mud, can are excess, and UV exposure can upload the data to the cloud so that institutions like Johns Hopkins can conduct air quality research. The ball that teaches kids to code. It's hackball toys since with a mobile app allowing users to program how and when it's light ups and then to see those programs affects their lives in the real world. During one test, for example, kids set the ball to change colors at random intervals, then use it to play a hot potato style game. Next is zero emission cars that run on hydrogen. Fuel cells vehicles have been long promised as they potential over several major advantages 
fully electric and hydrocarbon powered vehicles. However, the technology has only now begun to reach the stage where automotive companies are planning to launch them for consumers. The initial prices are likely to be in the range of 70,000 but should come down significantly as volume increase within the next few couple of years. Next is flying robots to check power lines and deliver emergency aid. An aerial vehicle of drones have become an important and controversial part of military capacity in recent years. They are used in agriculture for filming and multiple other applications that require cheap and extensive aerial surveillance but so far all these drones we had human pilots and the difference is the their pilots are on the ground and fly the aircraft remotely. remotely. This inventor is one of my favorite one. It's the best inventors in the world. Next is computer chips that mimic the human brain. Computers are linear moving data back and forth between memory chips and central processor over high speed backbone. The brain on the other hand is the frontal interconnected with logic and memory intimately cross-linked at billions of times the density and diversity of found in the modern computer. Neuromorphic chips aim the process information in fundamentally different way from traditional hardware mimicking the brain's architecture to deliver a huge increase in the computer's thinking and responding power. Computer on a stick Portable computers are nothing new. Every year, laptops, tablets, even smartphones get more powerful and more capable of handling most users' daily computing needs. Still, two integrating pieces of hardware released in 2015 took the entire hardware of a computer and Swiss fit it into a device slightly larger than a tube or a stick and for a fraction of a fraction of a price. Next is connect to multiple circular networks. Our relationship with mobile carriers has grown more in recent years, and tech and tech industry has taken note. Mobile is attempting to show the idea of digging an uncarrier down our throats while still retaining many of the debilitating excrescences that has defined the circular services business, but other genuinely interesting ideas have been born from the old tension. Next is smart spawn screens that senses pressure. The sensors is embedded in the new iPhone screens allows the device to recognize force along with the usual multi-touch gestures. Apple calls it 3D touch while it is still named for an simplicity but it's built on cool tech as well. Previously, we talked about drones. But for me, this drone is one of the coolest, one of the most in good inventors in the world. Because this drone is the sense and avoid drones. Drones have proven to be useful tool in recent years. And the next step is for the un unmanned aircraft to become autonomous. That possible become a reality this year. In June DJI release the first co consumer drone with the technology on board and then in September NASA announced its complicated a test of a prototype system that allows drones to detect and avoid other aircrafts. The technology is the first step in integrating drones into everyday life. With the ability to avoid objects, drones could move above cities free freely, check power lines, deliver medical supplies, or even the new pair of robots ordered from Amazon. The last invention is zero emissions vehicle. The dream of a hydrogen fluid car has been in stasis for a veritable eternity. The technology has finally advanced far enough that car companies are now formulating plans to release them to consumers. Prices will be in orbitant First, and the new fuel cell vehicle will be faced a similar uphill battle to create a solid infrastructure that current electric cars face. But 
the prospect sustainable personal transportation is in trailing. That is the last inventions. Thank you for listening and I hope you learned something from my simple presentation about the inventions in technology in all fields of society from year 2015 to 2020. Once again, I'm Niti Jester Ormita, a BSIT student, signing off. Thank you for listening and peace out.